Hey guys, it's David here from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root your uh, T-Mobile MyTouch 3G. Uh, also going to show you how to load custom ROMs uh, and even the Hero ROM. If you're not already there, please head over to TheUnlocker.com, spelled like that. Uh, and then you're going to scroll down uh, and follow the instructions. But the first thing is, before beginning, make sure that you have a spare memory card. Uh, not the ones that you, not the one that you normally use for like music and stuff. We need a separate one because we're going to turn into what's called a gold card. Um, a two gig card card is perfect. For some reason, SanDisk cards do not work. Um, now maybe you might have better luck with that, but as far as we've done with testing, they don't. Um, so any card besides SanDisk for the most part. Uh, and then you're going to begin by downloading and installing the Android SDK, Fastboot, and the drivers. If you've already done this, uh, you're fine, you can just skip this section, but if you haven't, you need to do this first. So I'm not going to get into how to do all this, we have it in uh, a few other videos and the instructions are pretty straightforward. Um, so you're basically going to download files, you're going to extract them to your computer to a specific folder, uh, plug the phone in to check to see what you did, and that's pretty much about it. Uh, everything should install correctly, if not, there is a link in there um, with a guide from Google. Uh, that'll give you a little more detail on how to install their driver. So after that, we can begin. Okay, after you have all the drivers and, and the SDK and Fastboot all installed and you've checked to make sure that they work properly, um, again, go to our site to see how to do that. Then we're gonna create a gold card. We're gonna take the phone or the uh, memory card that we're gonna use for a gold card and put it into the phone. Then we're gonna go menu, settings, SD card. We're gonna unmount it. And we're going to format it. Erase, erase. Okay. Once we've done that, uh, it should show the numbers again, meaning that it has uh, remounted the SD card. And we're going to go to Applications, Development, and make sure that USB debugging is checked. Okay. Once we've done all that, we'll go back to the home page, and we can plug our MyTouch into our computer, and wait for it to connect. Okay, the next step is we gotta open the command prompt on our computer. So we're gonna go to the start menu and just type in CMD and hit enter. Okay, once the command prompt opens up, we're gonna do CD backslash to get out of there. CD Android SDK slash tools. Uh, and that'll get us inside the tools folder. Now, if you didn't follow our step to uh, download and install the SDK, then yours might not be called Android SDK, it might be called something else. So type in whatever the folder name is for your SDK and wherever you put it, then tools, and then so on. Or go back and do our process, it doesn't take very long, and then you can uh, follow the steps as written here. Okay, so now we've done that, we're gonna go ADB, devices, and you should have a serial number show up, which means that your device is connected properly, so that's good. Then we're gonna type ADB shell, and give it a second. Okay, now when you see the dollar sign come up, now you can type cat space slash sys slash class slash mmc underscore host slash mmc1 mmc1 star slash cid. Okay, and then hit enter. Okay, and now that number that pops up, that's the CID of your memory card. So we're going to write that number down. Uh, not mine, yours, it's gonna be different. Um, but write that down and double check it, triple check it, make sure that it's written exactly as it is there. Okay? Okay, now once you have that code written down, you're gonna go back to our site and you're gonna look at uh, step six here. Uh, go to this page to download the QMAT. So we're gonna click open. Okay, and you're gonna download the top one, QMAT 4.4.6. Okay, download. Okay, once you've downloaded it, you're gonna unzip it, and then click on QMAT. It's gonna tell you that this version only runs for 10 minutes, so let's be kind of quick. Uh, crypto analysis tools, crypto toolbox. And you'll see down here at the bottom, says reverse string. We're 
gonna take our code, put it into there, and then hit reverse string. And now it's gonna give our code back reversed. We're gonna highlight that. I'm gonna copy that and write it down. Forward and backward now. And then we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, now once you have that written down, you're gonna go back to our site. And you're going to go to this site, the gold card site. Okay. Um, and then it's gonna ask you for your email address. Put the right email address in because it's gotta email your uh, your gold card image, um, but also it's going to ask you for the CID, which is what we wrote down, the reversed one, not the forward one. Um, make sure also that you replace the first two digits, which is 98 for me, with 00. zero. Okay, make sure that you do that, and then copy that string and put it into the section on the site uh, and click submit, and you'll get emailed your uh, your image. Okay, once you get your gold card image of uh, my email, it actually shouldn't take that long, it takes maybe 10-15 minutes. Um, then do step 11. We're going to download the hex editor. So if you click on that, it's going to bring you to CNET download. Uh, download the hex editor. And then uh, once it's done downloading, you're going to unzip it. And we'll go from there. Okay, once we've downloaded the hex editor, now we're going to turn off, well, unplug and then turn off our my touch okay once it's off we are going to take out our memory card remember again this is the one that we're going to use for a gold card it's not our normal memory card and we are going to put it into the SD adapter that it came with Make sure this is not locked. I'll push that all the way. And then we're going to put that into our computer. Okay, once we put the memory card in and we've installed the hex editor, we're actually gonna find it in our program files. We're gonna right click and click run as administrator if you're using uh, Vista or higher. Okay. Now that it's open, we're going to click on extras. Open disk. It's going to ask us to choose. Under physical disk, we're going to choose the removable disk. That's going to be our SD card. Uh, and then at the bottom, at the bottom, we're going to make sure to uncheck open as read only, okay? And then click. Yeah, if that's open, we're going to click on the extras tab again. We're going to click uh, open disk image. And we're going to find the gold card that we downloaded. Okay, and we're gonna click open. It's gonna say, specify the sector size, just click okay. And now that we should have both the gold card.img open here and the removal disk here, okay? Okay, with the gold card.img tab selected, we're gonna click edit, select all, then edit again and hit copy. Okay, and after we hit copy, we're gonna click on the removable disk tab, and we are going to select uh, from 170, at the very end here, all the way up to the top. Okay, so you can see it's the same, like 170. Okay, 170, but all the way to the end. You start here and you highlight backwards, usually works best. Uh, and then we're going to click the edit tab and hit paste right. Now that's done, you're gonna hit file, save. Yep, all right. And now we can close the hex editor. Okay, now we're gonna test what we've done. Uh, once we've saved and closed the hex editor, we're gonna take out the memory card, and we're gonna put it back in, and it should prompt us to open it. And there it is, so click on open. As long as you can open this, and you get to this blank screen, you're all set, you've made your gold card. And then now we can go to the next step.